Meanwhile, a group of Russian athletes have been banned from the upcoming Olympic Games. That came after a vote by the International Association of Athletics Federations. That was on Friday. The decision upheld a provisional ban on Russia's track and field team for this summer's Rio de Janeiro Games in November. They were suspended from competition over allegations of widespread doping. The doping involved coaches and government officials. Holly Williams is with me by phone from Vienna where the historic vote took place. Holly, how historic and just how significant is this? Well, Rena, it's significant because, uh, at least on the face of it, it means that Russia's track and field team will not be able to compete at the Rio Olympics in August. Uh, and remember, of course, that Russia is a sporting powerhouse. Uh, that finished fourth on the medal tally uh, at the London Olympics, uh, the last Olympics. Remember also that this followed uh, really an unprecedented independent investigation last year uh, that found systematic and widespread doping uh, within uh, the Russian sporting system, allegedly involving uh, athletes, uh, coaches uh, and doctors. Uh, that is what uh, has uh, led to this ban. Now, there is some speculation that this decision could still be overturned by the International Olympic Committee, uh, perhaps next week. Uh, we just had a press conference uh, with the head of track and field world governing body, uh, Sebastian Coe, who said that as far as he understands it, uh, his body's decision is final. But let's see uh, what happens next week. There is still, though, a small window for Russia's track and field athletes to compete in Rio. Uh, and that is if individual athletes can prove that they are clean, that they're training outside Russia uh, and that they've been subjected to effective testing. They may still be allowed to compete, but as so-called neutral athletes, not competing uh, on behalf of Russia. So not the Russian athletes, Holly? Is that my understanding? Do I have that correct? That's right. Remember, firstly, uh, that this decision applies to track and field athletes, Russia's track and field team, uh, not to all uh, Russian uh, athletes. Uh, and the, the small window that has been opened uh, in the words uh, of track and field world governing body uh, is that if individual athletes can make a case, can prove that they are clean, then they may be allowed to compete in Rio, but as so-called neutral athletes not competing for Russia. Well, no one wants to watch the Olympics and know that it could potentially be tainted. Holly Williams in Vienna, thank you so much for that report.